how to connect your PayPal account to your Techmatics account. Your first little disclaimer, PayPal can be a real pain in the butt. So if this doesn't work for you the first time, it's not you going crazy, it's not you being dumb. PayPal just can be very difficult. You do need to have a PayPal business account for this to work. So if you haven't yet got a PayPal business account, you need to go into your PayPal account, click on your little profile picture on the top right hand side, and then switch to business. It will ask you just to pop in your business information, but the switch is instantaneous. There are no charges or costs for doing that, and it will happen right away. So assuming you've now switched to business and you are logged in to your PayPal account, now you need to open up a new tab, keep your uh, PayPal open in another tab, but go to a separate tab and type in developer.paypal.com developer.paypal.com. You should automatically be logged in because you've logged in on another tab. If not, just make sure you're logged in and then click on go to dashboard. You can also click on dashboard here. So that's the first step that you're going to go with. Now, what we're going to do is actually create uh, two connections. We're going to create what's called a sandbox connection. This is a pretend connection. So it connects for real with your Techmatics account and your PayPal account. However, it's not going to actually take charges from people. It's just going to test whether this works. The so sandbox is basically like a play connection to check that the connection is working. Once we've done that, then we're going to switch it to live. All right. So the first step is to inside your developer.paypal.com, you're logged in as you, you're going to click on apps and credentials over on the left hand side. And you'll see here we actually have two sections, we've got a sandbox and we've got live. So we're going to have a little play with those first. So make sure that you are on sandbox for this first one and we're, then we're going to press create app and what we're basically doing here is we're saying to PayPal, hey we need to connect this with a thing and app, uh, PayPal calls things apps, right? So you're going to call yours Techmatics account, all right, for instance, because obviously you're connecting it to your Techmatics account, it's going to be easy for you to know what this connection actually is, all right? So do that first. Make sure you've got Merchant selected and press Create App. That will just load and pull up a new page. From here, it's going to give you some special keys. Oh, it sounds so techy, doesn't it? But you're going to absolutely rock this. So now we've got our Techmatics account. It's called Sandbox API Credentials. And now basically, we're going to copy these over. So if you have a look where we've got to pop this in, in our Sandbox area, we need a client ID and a secret ID. So here is my uh, client ID. I'm just going to copy that. So press copy, go back and pop that in your Sandbox client ID. Then it's going to ask for your secret ID. So you'll need to press show because this is kept uh, secret for a reason. Don't let other people see this. So I'm going to click on show and it will bring up my um, secret key down below. So we're going to copy that whole secret key, press copy and then paste it in the secret ID box in our sandbox area in Techmatics. Press save and boom, you now have a connection, a sandbox connection inside your account. Next step is to now go and set it to live. Now that you've done that, basically what you have is a test checkout. So when you are building funnels and creating checkouts later on in your sandbox account for your products, you're actually going to be able to test whether the checkout works without you having to continuously keep buying your own product. So that's the purpose of the sandbox checkout basically is you're going to be able to do actual real life tests on payments and funnels and payments going through uh, without you having to really genuinely exchange money with your own PayPal account. So now we need to just switch it to live so that we can actually start taking money for real. So let's now go back to where we were, click back on my apps and credentials over on the left hand side. And now what we're going to do is switch it to live and we're going to do the exact same thing. All right. So we're going to, we've switched it to live over here. We're going to press create app and this one is going to be techmatics. Okay. And uh, you might want to put like live, Techmatics live, just so that you can differentiate it in the future. Press create app, and then you're going to do the exact same thing. It's going to come up with your client ID and your secret key. So copy over your live <laughs> uh, client ID, paste that in. I'm just going to uh, grab my secret key. I'll hide that. Copy your secret key paste it over in your secret key box over here 
and press save. And voila, you now have connected your PayPal. Well done, you big old techie. You knew you got this. <laughs> Happy teching.